Welcome back to Trauma Team. How can it be dark if things are blaze? I'm not gonna think too much about it. Hi, Naomi. Well, it seems like the next stop on our uh, medical journey is Wandering Girl. Yeah. Could do Tomoe Tachibana's next bit, but uh, I think we just need to get this out of the way. Yeah, I'm up for solving cases. All right, so Wandering Girl, here we go. We have to find an escapee from an insane asylum. Never mind, Found they're her. dead. Yeah. <laughs> We found this mummy named Alice. She somehow got up and started moving. Dr. Kimishima, the corpse is already here. Are you done? Calm down, Wait, little guy. Wait, the corpse is already here, then... <gasps> Who's this? Oh, no. Yes, but headquarters is telling me to hurry. All right, I'll be right there. Goodbye. Oh, uh, Doctor, what... Click. Got him. It's like we can't go, like, no matter how much of a good doctor we are, we still get harassed by upper management. I'm a detective, for God's sake. Or something. I'm a detective doctor, for God's sake. You shouldn't be allowed here. Do you need something? Katie doesn't seem well. I'm a doctor, not a veterinarian. Can you fix her, please? Oh, such a cute kitty. A cat? Why are you asking me? Cause you're a crazy cat lady. Because the cat has seen your doctor, future. Miss. Death is imminent. Uh, hand it over. That was a plot synopsis of a house episode. Uh, just oh, throwing that out there. Uh, I see. I see. The cat would always, you know, cuddle up to. Mm, looks uh, like she swallowed something. Kudos She'll for them uh, actually having her hold the cat and look into its mouth. Really? Yeah. It's common for cats to swallow foreign objects. Hmm. This one's from Taiwan. Still, it swallowed a dog. Wait here for That's a moment. wrong. Okay. Thank you, miss. You, come in with me. <sighs> Staring right at Thanks, you. Huh? Oh, uh, um, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh. Uh, gratitude. It's such bullshit. Oh, I hope the girl doesn't get kidnapped, and that's the point of the mission. No, not this one. Okay. This is about a murder that's already Sorry, happened, I'm not late. a murder is that's going ready? to happen. I mean, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Dr. Kimishima, you're really late. She's just... Uh, I, w w w we'll see her again later. <laughs> she got scratched! What are you looking at? <laughs> oh, uh... What happened to your hands? They got hurt by punching the stupid uppity doctor who kept asking too many questions. <laughs> I put my cat. hand in a meat grinder just I to see if I could do it. For a cat person. Be quiet. I thought you were in a rush here. Are we ready? <laughs> Ignore the cat scratch. Could it be oh, that you're right. weak and uh, vulnerable, I'll miss? Have I found a a, a, a a chink in your armor? Could I perhaps get into the nougaty center that is your soul? I knew she had a beautiful mind. Cat people are always beautiful minded. Pick up the phone! <laughs> The worst, the worst telemarketer you've ever heard. <laughs> oh, devil's calling. Need to pick up. Oh. What is that all about? I don't like that. So dramatic. I love it. Yeah, well, uh, I think we got a really dramatic case on our hands here. So you were cut short, too. Oh. Who here is ready to cry? Raise your All hand. Right. I'm ready. You ready to cry? All right. Always ready. Get those tissues ready. All right. Get the sad emotional music. How young were they? Well, we don't Explain know the their name or their time. age, but we know that they were lady. Oh, no! All right, right. A skeletonized corpse was found in a river 50 kilometers out of the city. Oh. Yeah. We don't know who Identifying is, a corpse. Typical dog person. <laughs> I can't. Like you said, the body is completely skeletonized. We won't be able to ID her until we reform her skeleton. <laughs> yeah. I also have records from the questioning of the body's <laughs> finder. I've got a bone to pick with you. Huh. I'm impressed. For you, that's a brilliant move. Please. Dude, not today. Not Maybe tomorrow. Ooh, that was good. Here. Yeah. Check it when you 
need That's to. A stretch. And then you start hearing Bone Trousel in the background. Good. Dancing skeletons. Doot, 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 doot. A woman is dead! I know, I know. Human bones found at the riverbed, reported by a homelis man walking his dog. Bones recovered by police. Homelis, that's my favorite form of Nutella. Mmm, homelis. Nom, 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 nom. Made of actual homeless guy. English is funny to to distort. Okay. Okay. Gotta go to the exam room yep. first. I, I have roadmapped this whole case to make sure that we're not walking around like uh, headless chickens here. Uh, oh, Dr. Kimishima, can you hear me? So yes, hopefully I things will go a bit faster Why this time around. Why are you around. Up on me on the intercom? It's fake. It's dead. Huh. I do have the corpse here. In a bag. Is this some kind of joke? I ain't happy. Feeling glad I got dead bodies. In a bag, I'm useless. But not the for long. The skeleton had fallen apart, so I had them transported like this. Mm. Huh. I see. So, so this person had been dead that? for a long time if they're strictly skeletons. Let's work on putting it back together. I'll start with the body. So can you please oh, we gotta put the skull, skull back together. All right. And that's how I'll we'll identify it. Hmm. Thank you. Let me know when you start on it. Wow. Do, I'll come pick up the rest. All right. Yeah, I'm down. Let's start getting this skull back together. This is then. fabulous. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm loving this. Let's put it together. See, we don't need Freebird to do this. That one's obviously what, right there. there. I don't know about that. Oh I mean, shoot, I can't do anything. Well, yeah, just put together the. You can, the you can, help, you can help me. Uh, there's the bottom one. There's the bottom. Okay. There's the bottom. Uh, this one goes right there, it looks like. There, okay. Yeah. Good. Uh, the s the so, top of the cranium yeah. is probably going to be the hardest one. Maybe uh, not. Oh, yeah, uh, there you go. Right there. Yeah, that, that'll work. Yeah, okay. uh, this one goes right here in this missing spot. Right there. Okay. Uh, this one... This one, I think, goes right here. Uh, this one goes here. Okay. There. Uh, that one right there. This one right here. This one right and there. And there we go. And where's this last one go? Oh, in the no. bin. Just, just no. toss it in the garbage. Who needs it? It's fake. We're missing a piece. <laughs> there we go. Dr. Kimishima, I saw you throw out that part of the skull. Next. Oh, the entire skull. Good lord. The whole damn thing's been broken. Uh, right here. Right there. Yep. Okay. Uh, there. Nice smooth parts of the top cranium there. Oh, I believe that's Idaho right there. <laughs> hey, there we go. I think, I think it's Alberta, actually. Oh, here we go. Uh, here's uh, Ohio. There that you go. That looks nothing like Ohio. Uh, uh, right there. There. Yep. Okay. Uh, this, I believe, goes right there. Yes. This, I believe, goes right there. This, and here's, uh, here's right Alaska. There. Okay, right. cool. Now the back of the school. Uh, Don't have the, the nice smooth cranium toss, but we do have a nice uh, smooth edges at the top there to help us out. Yeah, I think. Including, well, not that guy, but this guy. Yeah, that guy right there. Back right here. Where? Mm, oh, uh, not that one. I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out where this is. I think it's that. This? Yeah. Oh, there yeah. we go. Yeah, yeah. Which means uh, that this would probably go... Mm, maybe not there, but maybe this would go there. Correct. Ah. All right, now we can fill in the remainder. There. there we go. <coughs> oh, uh, uh, this, one, this one up top. Right there? North. Yeah. Ah, oh, here we go. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Oh, wait. Maybe not. But perhaps right there. Oh yeah, you, and then you right were there. actually correct. And then okay. right there. Yay! Time to go to the last side. The damn, her entire skull just was smashed like, to a, like a glass face. Uh, here's the Jesus Christ. Bottom row, of the teeth. Uh, probably go right there. And this can go right next to the teeth. Boop. There you go. That's not it. This uh, goes right. This I believe. Oh, is... uh, this right here. Right here, the front of the skull. Right, and that goes right there. There you go. And and that goes this, right here. This goes right here. And that goes right there. And this New Jersey-looking thing goes right there. And this Connecticut-looking thing goes right oh, there. Oh, did we have to put Jersey back? I mean, come on. We need the whole country and the whole I skull. Know. Okay. Hmm. Looking at this skull, I placed the victim's age in the early twenties. Mm. Yeah. That's right. Really the bone structure suggests a high probability that the victim is female. Well, 50-50, isn't it? No, there's ways to tell. That's true, that's true. Find something Skill out, the structure of a woman FBI and a man are different. Analyze, please. How's it going over there, Dr. Kimishima? I'm done with the body here. Awesome. I just finished myself. All right, I'll put the skull back with the rest of the skeleton. 
So if a person had Let's begin died the in their clothing and turned to skeleton, that had to have been months. Probably. Jesus. There, could, there could have been determining factors that helped increase the rate of decomposition, too. Probably in the rain or in the water, maybe. To... Probably, yeah. Alright, so let's take a look at the body here. There's three things we need to see. Uh, the femurs. Yeah, that, that's this. shattered. Are Femurs shattered. Are it's legs. more than fractured. They're, they're completely broken there. Aww. Oh! Yeah, ouch. The femur is the hardest Legs knocked out. Body. Good lord. Taken a massive you gotta take a lot to break femurs, man. Is she attacked by a hammer or the rhino from Spider-Man? What's going on here? Next up here is this pinky finger. Broken pinky oh. finger. An another broken a finger. It's an epidemic, I swear. Oh, it's a good thing neither of us absolutely hate damage to hands. What could have caused That'd just be weird. There's that, and the last thing is this weird gray splotch on the bones here. What's this? The bones discolored? Just a little acid, it's fine. What on earth could that be? Maybe blood? I've never seen anything like this before. I'll need a more Ashes? detailed look at it. Uh, Alright, melted Toblerones? What do you want from me? Well, that's the body. Now we move on to the personal effects. I'm glad we brought our skull glue just to fit everything <laughs> together. Never leave home without it. Alright, we got here. Yeah. Uh, it's oh. on the back, actually. There we go. Oh. Run the fuck over. Oh, no! That would certainly break femurs. So was the victim run over by a car? Was this a hit and run? That doesn't make sense, though, because the victim Or a was... hit, come back, dispose of body. Because the victim was found near a river. Yeah, so they, the perpetrator came back and took the body That's with right. them and tossed the them in the river. Was found at a river. Ew! There are some exceptions, but you usually don't find cars driving in the river. Usually. Usually. It doesn't happen often. I mean, when I off-road and accidentally go into a river, I just call it mutton. All right, next we got the blood on the chest here. This, it's a blood stain. However, Stabbed it to death? Originated from a but hemorrhage. also run over? That's what happened to this poor woman? There's, there's no apparent damage. Unless her chest exploded. Well, that would be a flesh wound, and we wouldn't know that because all we have yes. are bones oh, and clothes. Yeah, bones. But we got that weird and mark on her, like, whatever that was. I still say How acid. That weird shit on her bones. Could she have been Some weirdos some walking around with a flask of acid and throwing it at people if he accidentally runs them over. Yeah, it's fucked up, isn't it? This is <laughs> the necklace the victim is wearing. I, I like that answer. I wasn't laughing at the fact that somebody threw a flask of acid at this young woman after running her over. We got a necklace here. This will be helpful in placing her at other scenes of the crime. How much force would it take for this stone to break like this? Probably enough to get run over. About twenty horsepower. All right. So that's about all we got. Back to the office we go. So, uh, so already things aren't looking so cut and dry here. You think? Uh, premeditated hit and run. Well, let's see what we got. I couldn't think of too many combinations, but uh, possibly the tire tracks. Take, take the skull here and the gray substance. Oh, wait. Nope, oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Maybe female wait, plus this. Sorry. Hey, ah, little guy. Can right. You do me a figure favor out who this is. Analysis? Yes, of course. Is it to identify the body? Mm hmm. That's right. Start with dental records. I'll get right on that. I'll let you know when the results come in. Uh, I hope I put those together, okay? Yes, please do. All right, then. Might be missing one or two teeth, but it's fine. Okay, that and the discoloration. Hey, Take a look at that, guy. too. I'd like to get your opinion on something. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't think you'd ever have I'm just waiting for an out of pocket Enough moment like that from little you guys. Just like, some data excuse me, ma'am, what the hell is this? <laughs> what the fuck? What is this shit? What are you sending to me, you mad woman? What is this? It's all uh, part of the case. Can you wait a moment. I'll compare it with the database here. It's as <clears throat> I thought. No matches. <clears throat> no matches. I've never seen this before. So we don't even know what it is. The place I used to work. Huh. So does, does it burn you when you touch it? it? Flask of acid. Correct. Uh, I'm sorry, but that's correct. Fine. At least I know now that there isn't any information. That uh, that alone could be information. Unknown pathological change. Hmm. To keep that in mind. 
right, now we can take the legs and do it with that. The on both That's legs obviously what broke the legs. The yep. of the so not a lead clean. pipe or that anything like that. Were... Right. It's just a car. Maybe a truck. So, the legs are run over. The legs are always broken. Again, these are things <laughs> she's thinking. That's right. Oh, yeah, somebody These just walking around with their broken legs. She was what? Over by a car. That were already broken. And then falling out How of the car. Did these marks appear on a corpse found in the river? This is a new mystery. Yes, it is. I think that's all we got for now. Ring, ring? Yep. Ring, ring. Dr. Kimishima, good timing. I'm glad I roadmapped There's this. There's something I need to tell you. Hmm? I'm listening. What is it? The team that collected the corpse has turned in an investigation report. It seems that a type of tick was found in the ground Ooh. where the corpse is located. We Ticks? might have a blood sample yes, from this depending tick. Depending on the season and environment, various insects are attracted to corpses. Yes. They normally leave once the body's been reduced to the bone. Oh. But some ticks burrow underground and remain there for a while afterwards. That could give us a time of death too. Hmm. True. Ooh. They'll leave eventually as well. But Me likey. Perhaps the ticks could tell us something. Entomology. Ask the ticks. How long it had been there? Time since right. death. Perfect. Hey. We could use the ticks to determine how long the corpse had been there. Man, we're getting doctor. down to like, I didn't think you'd yeah, to that. entomology, asking mm -hmm. bugs, so how long was, was it there? It's calculated. all part of forensics. I love it. Yes, it seems to have only been about a month ago. That's not too long. By yeah, not a long, yeah. not long enough to rot. A month. True, that is rather fast for a corpse hmm. to have been skeletonized. A little too fast. I mean, all right. Really Thanks, fast. Guy. That's strange. Maybe like a wolf got her and she got picked clean or something like that. Yeah, maybe. Finger looking good. All right. So we got uh, the homeless guy's testimony. He's the guy who found the body. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's give it a look. Let's, get, let's just give him a listen. I hate Mooper's chicken. Oh, not finger looking good. It doesn't sit. It doesn't sit well in my stomach. It's just, it's just gross. I feel. I feel like shit afterwards. Do you ever get that experience where you wipe your hands on the paper towels and it just soaks into the paper towel but doesn't clean your hands? That's what this chicken does. Sam. Oh, dog. Dog Sam. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Oh, God. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Can you not sound uh, slimy and skeevy for one second, sir? The reward of knowing that you helped a family see closure, so. That won't help me pay for more Mooper's chicken! No, it won't! Get the hell out of here. Yep, he's telling us one hell of a lie. Did you catch it? One more time. Let's cross-examine this person one corpse, more time. Right? Claims he never saw the corpse. Yes. Yet there is something he said that he couldn't. You see, there was a contradiction in his testimony, dear Niskel. Objection. Um, there was. Wait, what was it? Uh, oh, come on, little I guy. Really You're talking to the best there. Yes, please. You know. I think her and Edgeworth would exchange pleasantries. I, th I think they would get along very well. Very well. All right, let me... In fact, I think even Edgeworth would be like, y you know, I think she's quite... She's, she's quite cold sometimes. <laughs> All right, so let's find the lie now. That was just listening to his testimony. Now we're going to see if we can find the lie. Hey, 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 can you see if they'll get me some of that, that Mooper's chicken? Yeah. Right there! He never eats a Mooper's chicken! There is no Mooper's chicken! <laughs> I hate you. It's all thanks to Sam, you know? <laughs> yeah. See, we were walking down by the river when old Sam, he suddenly runs ah, off. Got it. I know what it was. What was it? Lady's arm. He doesn't know. How would know. he know it was a lady's the arm? Yo. brought back an arm bone. Even for a forensic scientist, it would be difficult to determine the sex from just Correct. the arm. Correct. From just the arm. That means that the man who found the corpse is... That means that he... Saw the corpse himself. Uh, what do him. you know? Hmm. What do you know? No boops for you. He then made an assumption of the corpse's gender based on the remaining articles of clothing. Case closed. Wait, no. Book him. 
right, so why did he lie? All right, little guy. Let's look at the information in detail. Sure, but why would he lie? A good question. Did he take her Here's wallet? One possible explanation. He didn't want the authorities to know that he had been at the scene. Well, that would also but help, it's yeah. It's not a crime to discover a dead body. That's true. Why would he try to hide that? The most likely reason why he didn't want it to Tampering be Tampering with evidence. What's the joke answers? He had amnesia. He, had am he hates the police. Yeah. The victim was still- He tampered, tampered with, with the, the scene. scene. Oh no, you fool! Now it's become tampered scene. Because he tampered with the scene. Naughty naughty! It's likely that he did something that would get him in trouble if it was discovered. Poked it with oh, a I stick. See. That would explain his behavior. The question is, what did he do? Little oh, guy? give me five go joke answers for this one, please. Trust me. All right, so he's gonna go interrogate him some more. Maybe get some new testimony. You telling me I get three hots and a cot if I just answer your questions? That's all the information we can obtain from the corpse and other <gasps> Do we get to go to the crime scene? Oh. Yep. So, Dr. Kimishima, is the cause of death drowning after all? Fuck no, it isn't. No. There's a good possibility that the cause of death was something else. Battered, bruised, and destroyed before drowning. I'm gonna go with the pinky angle. Her skull itself was... Hmm. Oh, right, the skull was shattered. Shattered into pieces. Whether it was post or pre-mortis, uh, uh, it's, it's yes. still oh, something it that we need to take into so consideration. She got run over and her head got crushed. The bones, they wouldn't have done that. We would have seen tire marks on her head, but noticed her legs. Her skull was Unless it was bludgeoned by, by something else. It was impact. shattered by a strong impact of some sort. It's, it wasn't crushed, it was shattered. Trash compactor. Shattered! That isn't consistent with the drowning. There's no, more to it than that. Really? Though. During the autopsy, the corpse's femurs were... Just fine! They were in good condition. <laughs> Both femurs were broken. Right. Like, hella what? broken. The femur is supposed to be the most durable bone in the human skeletal system. However, both her femurs were completely fractured. This also suggests God, that some kind of powerful impact fucking occurred. terrible. Yeah, that's kind of ouch. Let's just hope it happened after death. Also oh, in the area please. Where the been just, found. If you're gonna kill somebody, don't torture. Just no kill him quickly. Rapids. Don't kill anybody, by the way. Remember, we gotta consider in, in her... We, we, gotta, we gotta consider her last words, too. To How that's gonna come into play. Uh, yes, but that's all we know for now. It's risky for us to assume anything beyond that. All right, I think we gotta go find some more evidence. I'm down for it. I'm Let's go to the park. The location. Wait, are you going down to the river? Hell no. yeah! She didn't die in the river. She didn't die in the river. That's just where they found her. The evidence her. we have suggests the actual place of death was. So where on the map do you think it was that she was found here? She's found here? Yes. Right here. Right there. Yep. Because it's where the highway and the river intersect. Right. This location is the <sighs> unless you unless you get run over off road or something like that, but you know, unlikely. And then drove onto the highway, tossed over the edge, and eventually float down to where she was found. I, eventually. I don't think. Yes, don't please that's... do so. Sorry no, to make leaps in logic not... here. That's a pretty big one. Yeah, like that's moon logic, but that might be like Alpha Centauri logic. But then a meteorite came down from the heavens yeah, and yeah, destroyed yeah. her skull. And okay, well, let's get out of here. Off to the scene. What on earth? Hmm. Nobody thought to mention this. Not suspicious at, at all. all. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Could, hey! Hey! What, what do you think that, that could Somebody be? Oh my gosh! I think it's the actual scene of the crime. That's something to consider. I feel A like I've seen stone. something similar recently. Hmm. Also, obvious as hell. Long skid marks and signs of a collision. <laughs> Has nobody come to this highway in like a month? What could this mean? Oh, this is a racetrack. A definitely. shootout happened a shoot here. <laughs> yeah. Car accident occurred here. Yeah. I thought you were actually gonna go for the shootout. It's just like, <laughs> look at all the gunfire here. Uh, Dr. Kibishima, are you okay? Hmm. Uh, sorry, I yes, uh, had to deal with a cat this morning. Happened here. Cat scratch fever, of course. Cat scratch fever. There was a gunfight with all these skid marks. All right, we're out of here. There's nothing. Oh, I guess the sign would be part of the collision. Let's combine the necklace with the shard we found. All right, first off. Take these over little to guy, the little guy. Does this information tell us anything? Uh, give me a moment. Let's see here. Blue paint thought 
thought to have come from a vehicle was found on the area of the collision along the guardrail. Oh. -ho. We're investigating what kind of vehicle it's from, but that could take some time. Probably a Honda. So this means that a blue vehicle ran into the guardrail here. Any other details? It better not be the we blueberry from Psych. We skid marks to determine how many tires the vehicle had. Um, it seems this vehicle had two wheels We're after a unicycle. Two wheels on the front axle. Behind that, there were two more axles, both with two tires on each side. Hmm, two tires on each side. What kind of- Was this a giant truck? Ten, tires total. ten tire truck. A big rig hit this? It was a large truck. Uh oh, an important Let me see. <laughs> From where? Fakeatopia? <laughs> yes. The pairs That's a long ass limousine. Load it's I didn't know Last limousines came in 18 wheeler. Holy cow! I see. I'll get into Bringing a whole college to the prom. Please do. Hopefully, they can use this to find other things. Yes. All right. What's next? Necklace with thing. That with that. Yes. The two shots. They fit, fit together them. perfectly. That clears something up for us now. And Maya, is... no. The victim was on the bridge. No! That puts her there. The victim stole the necklace. I like how it's been over a month and that shard was still there on the highway. Yeah, no, nobody shows up to this yes. highway. Nobody fixes the, the guardrail. The bridge, Guardrail's the not fixed. Code. Street isn't cleaned. There's no conclusive evidence of how she died. We may have really good health care, but at what cost of our infrastructure? Yeah, seriously. Places falling apart. Sheesh. All right, now the... Can we do vehicle? Truck yeah. Truck and the time There's since There's no doubt death. that the victim had been run over in this case. If the victim had been killed in this accident, how long ago did the accident take place? How long... How many months? How many months? How many months ago did the accident happen? One. Okay, hey. I, thought, I thought it was a trick question. <laughs> nope. But they said right. one month. The victim died about a month ago. Which is strange. If the victim did die from the accident, the accident itself would have taken place a month ago as well. There was no reporting on this? But there's a time frame. Look into that. Okay. So should we give that to the little so, guy as well? So, victim at the bridge, and where is it? Time event. No, wait. No, wait. Some, something else. Mm, yes. yes. There's evidence that the victim had been on the bridge when the accident took place. There's evidence mm. of having been in a car accident on the victim's body and clothing. That evidence is... <gasps> fractured toes. No, not the toesies. The fractured and tire marks. Yes, yes, yes. Dead. <laughs> yeah, it caused that crystal to die. Yeah, it yes, causes dead, bad. man. Taking these two facts seems, into account, uh, Doctor, it seems you have a bad case of dead on your mind. Oh, no, just like my dad. That place. That's so sad. It runs in the family, you how, see. How bad was his case of dead? Oh, all of my Dr. dead relatives caught dead. Oh, that's... Oh, so mine too! Oh, we got an ID. Hmm, great. Was there a hit in the dental records? That's right. The victim here is Veronica Cage. She was 23 years old. Nick Cage's daughter? It seems she was living with her parents eight kilometers from where the accident took place. Oh. Uh -huh. I see. We're making progress. Has the family been notified? Yes, that's been done. There was something odd about it, though. No. Huh. What's that? No. The parents hadn't submitted a missing no! person. No! their daughter had been gone for a month. Hmm. You must have had a happy childhood, little guy. Every family has its own problems. Huh. We questioned them just in case. There we got their interviews. <laughs> Look through that too. <laughs> oh if you need to boy. To them, check the voice recorder. I already know we oh, need to book right. them. Anything else? Now, we can, well, now why? Throw the book at them. They're guilty. Yeah, you've been playing too much Danganronpa. Rampa. We got We got to let everything play out. They're this guilty. Is, this is a procedural oh, man. This we, isn't a Danganronpa thought. This is an Ace Attorney thought. No, we got to think of it like a Law and Order thought. This is a procedural, man. It's we gotta we gotta go by the books here. Book them. You can use the recorder to listen to that interview as well. Oh, three right. interviews. Yep, we got three interviews to look at now. Okay. Ah, <sighs> okay. So we got. Let's take a listen. The victim's ID. We know who she is now. I just don't like that they didn't think to put out a missing persons report. But if she was by herself, they probably just thought she went home and stopped talking. All right, let's listen to the homeless guy one more time. What did you do? Uh, Book him. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I was. Uh, Got a little drunk on that Mooper's chicken, you know. <laughs> 
that that's that secret sauce. Yeah, I, I'll tell you the secret. <laughs> Wait for it. And we found that I'm waiting to pounce. It's like I imagine just two inspectors just looking over his testimony, yeah, just. Mm -hmm. so I, took I took the earring. Okay, yeah, right. While, I only, yeah. one of them. only one earring. What a coward. I see. <laughs> I understand now. Stick to your morals, man! ...to hide the fact that he stole one of her earrings. But the other one wasn't there. This man is somebody else pilfered from this corpse? I should tell the little guy about it. Huh. Alright, well, uh, let's, let's see the other so testimonies. Got that. Yeah, let's check the other testimonies here. I want to hear from the parents. Alright, Thomas Cage! Father the victim, Veronica, he was interrogated about the case. Nothing to point out, let's just hear it. I okay. hate to say this when I know you're doing your best to help, but I've always known that something like this would happen to her one day. Oh yeah? Yes, we expected it. That's why we didn't request a search or post a reward. What? Sometimes a machine's just too broken to be repaired. Isn't that right? Bad it's, crowd? It seems a little uh, heartless, doesn't it? I fell down while taking a walk. It's embarrassing. Getting old is misery. Hey, Amen, brother. Like to go home as yeah, I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm dying. Health. It's the it's the gray hair. Bad back too. It hurts more and more the longer I sit here. Well, you're just falling apart, mate. Well, yeah. that's sad. All right. Well, what about the mum? Yeah. Alice Cage, other victim, Veronica. You care about the case? Uh, let's see what she has to say. Yes, yes. I'm all right. Booker. I, I suppose that I'd been expecting this to happen one day. Wait. My it was the same thing. She was a kind girl, but ever since she dropped out of high school. Well, uh, she lost most of her friends and was practically alone in the world. Uh, At some point, she started going out almost every night. Sometimes she didn't come home for an entire month. We thought that's what happened this time, too. Oh, mm -hmm. this? I slipped on the stairs. Seems a little convenient, yes. don't you think? That both My of them are hurt, yeah. Mother. But both of them are like, oh, we expected this, and yeah. Either they're shitty parents Precisely. or... Precisely. Like the There's something going on here. Yeah, just... Automatically assuming, oh, I always knew it would Dropping come to this. School. It's your oh, daughter. Yeah. yeah, really. Sounds like a typical delinquent. That's not the. You're best a typical way to delinquent, it, but little I can't guy. Say she was well behaved. Yeah. Did the parents' testimonies tell you anything? Yeah, else? they both got hurt. Mm, there's something that bothered me more than just what they said. What caught my attention about the father was. Yeah. Uh, that's that's more than just a falling injury, isn't it? Is he? Was major, she accidentally in with the mob? To his face. And, in the mother's and they're calling collect on the parents? By. Oh man! Yeah, they got another bruiser. Yeah, I don't know black eye. I don't know what the heck's going on here. Yes. She had some signs of severe bruising as well. Huh. But they both said that they'd gotten hurt by falling down. Too easy. Yeah, you ever uh, get, you ever You're fell down and it hits your eye? Take a closer look I at fell them. on a doorknob! Usually it's like my legs or my they knees or maybe my forehead, but, but each the, under the eye? Hmm. It's a little... a little this too convenient. Alright, Victor's parents... This implies they had that. accelerating healing factors! Oh! Were they in a car accident? They're healing at different rates. That means that they were hurt repeatedly. Who's hurting the, the mom and dad? Right. Hmm. How many people do you know who fall down several times a week? <laughs> people I without see. legs. <laughs> two left feet. Then why were these two extremely clumsy yet, big people like me? But they must have a reason for hiding the cause of their injuries. That's interesting. All right. Let's take a look at if we can. Grandma's sort out some of this info here. Grandma's taking the cane to the. Oh God! <laughs> I haven't seen my granddaughter in a month. Okay, so tampered scene plus plus the uh, victim corpse oh, robbing. Yes. Yeah, these two facts do tell us something. It's more than that. The person who had found the corpse stole. So his one missing earring. One more the necklace was broken. This case. Stole the other that earring, is. but not worth selling. She's missing an earring. Yep. Yes, only one of the victim's earrings was at the scene. 
Either it came off somewhere, or she was only wearing one all along. Yeah, he didn't take it because he's like, hey, there's only one. Why would I, I can't pawn off one earring? That's true. That's true. So where is the other earring? In the father's eye. So we got. Should we ask them, ask little guy about their injuries, or yes. yeah, probably. There yes. we go. Yeah, yeah. See why they were in there for realsies. Then we get uh, victim's ID and exit right. corpse relationships. Since we now relations, I mean. What, what, why are they related? Be consolidated. So that means the collision wasn't reported either. Right. So there's just a broken car out there somewhere. She must never have imagined that she would die so young. I don't sympathize with you. Her last words were YOLO. And then I don't think we have anything else, do we? Not that yeah. I can see. Oh, the remains, yeah. Okay. Alright. I think we go. that's I think it's about it then. Yep. Uh, Dr. Ring -ring. Kimishima, we've identified the vehicle <gasps> in the accident. Oh! Gimme. Good. Gimme. That's rather quick. For you guys. Don't be mean. Hey, come on. We're a national government agency. That's why I said, for you guys. I know what I said. Interview later. He pretty much admits to what we suspected had happened. So, case closed? Easy there. It's too mm. early to relax yet. Oh, it's way too early. What do you mean? I mean the culprits. Do you think that just catching the truck driver will solve this case? No. No! A year old woman was walking alone in the mountains eight kilometers from home. You think she was just walking the dog? Okay, that does sound odd. So the investigation's not over yet. Not over yet? It, son, it is just Indeed. starting. Go look into the parents' uh, It's getting good. Yeah, it is. From the size of those bruises, they would have needed to I always like when hospital. what seems to be a simple case just well, explodes going, into even more details. Well, this is this case is about to get a lot bigger and a lot more sinister. Spicy. I'll tell the ones in charge right now. All right. Going to go to the victim's room and then we've got some uh we, we got a whole lot to do. This case has just been opened up wide open. Love it. So we're going to save the second half of this case for next time on Trauma Team. That sounds awesome, dude. Yeah! Boop. Yeah. 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 Boop. See you next time.